Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure default user settings permission in Azure Active Directory. This video is going to be more theoretical, so brace yourself for more annoying talk. In Azure Active Directory, all users are granted a set of default permissions. A user's access consists of the type of user, their role assignments, and the ownership of individual objects. Normal users can register applications, manage their own profile photo and mobile phone number, change their own password, and invite B2B guest users. These users can also read all directory information with a few exceptions. While guest users have restricted directory permissions, they can manage their own profile, change their own password, and retrieve some information about other users, groups, and applications. However, they can't read all directory information. For example, guest users can't enumerate the list of all users, groups, and other directory objects. If you want, you can assign Azure AD roles to grant them required permission. It is also possible to add restrictions to users' default permissions. You can use this feature if you don't want all the users in the directory to have access to the Azure AD admin portal. So let's see the steps to modify the default user settings permission in Azure Active Directory. We need to access and log in to the Azure Active Directory admin center. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On dashboard, under favorites, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role for this video and that we can verify here. Under manage section, click on user settings. First, let's talk about the app registration permission, which by default set to yes. If you set this option to no, that will prevent all users from creating application registrations. But you can grant the ability back to specific individuals by adding them to the application developer role. We don't want that all the users have the application registration permission, so I'm going to set the permission to no. And again, if you want to give them the permission, you just need to toggle the value to yes. Next is the access to the administration portal. By default, all users can access the Azure AD Administration Center and also they can create security and Microsoft 365 groups. If this option is set to no, that means non-administrator users can use the Azure AD Administration Portal to read and manage Azure AD resources. If you set this option to yes, it will restrict all non-administrators from accessing any Azure AD data in the administration portal. This setting does not restrict access to Azure AD data by using PowerShell or other clients such as Visual Studio. If you want to grant a specific non-admin user the ability to access the Azure AD administration portal, you need to assign any administrative role such as the directory reader role to that user account. I'll change the permission to yes since I want to restrict access to Azure AD portal for non-administrator. Let me toggle the value to yes. The next permission is to allow users to connect work or school account with LinkedIn. Setting this option to no prevents users from connecting the work or school account with the LinkedIn account. We will keep it to default. Then you can see there are two links below that. External users and user features. In this video, I'm not going to cover them. I'll create one separate video on how to configure external collaboration settings. Before we save the changes, 
we want to check if user can access the Azure AD administration portal or not. So I'm going to open new in private to window. Type URL HTTPS colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com and press enter key to access Azure AD administration portal. We will use the Parita Boda's user credential to access Azure AD portal. The UPN of the user is Parita B at msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com. Click next. Type the user password and click on sign in. We can confirm that Parita Boda can access the Azure AD administration portal successfully. Uh, let me click on Azure Active Directory under favorites. Click on users. We can confirm that the user can also see the list of all existing users in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Now I'm going to save the changes. But first, let me sign out from this. Click on sign out. Uh, let me remove the user account as well. And let's close this a window. On Azure AD administration portal, let's save the changes. For that, at the top, click on save to save the changes. We got the confirmation message that successfully updated user settings for MSFT webcast. That is the name of our Azure AD tenant. Now, again, we will try to access the Azure AD administration portal using the Parita Boda's credential. Let's open new in private window again. Type URL HTTPS colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com and press enter key. Again, let's specify the user UPN Parita B at MSFT Webcaster dot on Microsoft dot com and hit next. Enter user password and click on sign in. We can see Still user can access Azure Active Directory Admin Center, but here we can see is not able to get any information here. And if you want to confirm that, click on Azure Active Directory. We can see the no access message. We can see this is the session ID, error code is there, resource ID is not available, content Active Directory menu blade. So we are not able to see any information from Azure Active Directory blade. Why? Because we have restricted the access to admin portal for non-administrator user. So that's it. Now onwards, non-administrator users cannot access Azure AD administration portal. That concludes the video on how to configure default user settings permission in Azure Active Directory using the Azure AD Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.